we believe that we can change the real estate industry. There is a better way to sell real estate. Your success is ultimately a sum of the decisions that you make. The better you understand what it is that you're trying to do, the better you can plan. It's rapid growth. That's what we're doing. That's what we stand for. That's our purpose. That's why we exist, because there's no one out there that's doing this for us. Hi, welcome. I'm Michael Reese. I'm Jake Hinder. And we wanted to shoot a really quick video and kind of explain to you as members of the NAEA, our potential future members of the NAEA, exactly why NAEA was created. Early on in our career, we have committed to helping real estate agents and professionals around the country, people who actually take this profession and career seriously, people who look at themselves as the trusted expert advisors. And one of the struggles we had early on was really being able to deliver the value that we wanted to deliver. And it became very apparent early on that forming the National Association of Expert Advisors actually was putting us on a platform to provide more value to our members by really giving them and delivering the things that we were asking some of our top clients to do when we early on started in the coaching business. So Jay, you were able to help so many people asking you questions. Can you really explain to them how NAEA has provided you the ability to deliver more value than just answering a question from some random person calling you around the country on how to grow the real estate business? Right, sure. So um, you may or may not know the entire story uh, of us as far as being in real estate. We're still active in real estate. We still own uh, two real estate companies each. And um, we've had a lot of success when it comes to looking at the traditional way of looking at real estate. So, you know, at one point, um, you know, 531 homes sold in a year. And I, I think, Mike, you had almost 400 homes, top Keller Williams agent and t one of the top Keller Williams agents in the world. I was with Cobalt Banker. We now own independent companies. But one of the challenges that we found in growing our business and when we talked to real estate agents around the country was you know, the positioning, being positioned as a true expert. There was something about, once we got to a certain point in our business, um, where we became the most trusted authority in the marketplace, the, the source and force for anyone who's thinking to buy or sell real estate, we came to mind first. And the difference in your business when you become that, that the, the most trusted advisor um, is, is an incredible, value, but also at the same time, one of the things that really frustrated us was dealing with what we consider is the AFA. The AFA is the average frustrated agent. The agent's selling maybe six or eight homes a year. They overprice a listing just to get it. Uh, they drop their commission on every deal and you know they sell six or eight homes a year. There's over a million real estate agents that are these part-time agents dealing with the largest real estate transaction that people ever have in their lifetime. And I believe, much like you do or you wouldn't be here, and you believe, is that when it comes down to handling the largest transaction in someone's life, you really need to be an expert. You really truthfully need to be the expert in the marketplace. You need to be prideful of that and you need to learn how to position that in order to attract business as opposed to chase business. And we've spent our entire, you know, last 10 years anyways, um, developing the training, the curriculum, the systems, the processes, the tools um, to masterfully put that in place for you in your business. And that's really the reason why we're here and the reason why hopefully you're here is to create a business that works harder and harder for you than you do for it. One of the things that was very apparent early on was how important the role of the consumer played. It's very hard and one of the things that I was most frustrated with that really made me excited and passionate about the expert advisor in NAEA was ultimately it's hard for a homeowner, a future homeowner, or somebody making an investment in real estate to really even know the difference between um, a traditional agent and an expert. And there was fundamentally a problem. And the problem existed 
because you could go to any real estate brand across the country, the same brand, and get a different experience. And that was something that really not only drove us, but wanted us to raise the standard for our industry as well. Right. And that's something I know that um, we both shared that passion and we've been able to find other people who agree with that. And I think the, the one thing that's important is that we're always trying to raise the standard for, with our community and we're always trying to do it by understanding where the consumer sits within the transaction and what their perspectives are and, and really trying to deliver a better way for selling real estate. Right, and, and what Mike just mentioned there is is really what our purpose is. When you when the question gets asked at NAEA, well, why do we exist, and and what you know what would be what's the you know what would be who would miss us if we would, didn't exist? You know, it's it's our quest for providing a better way. And when when we started, you know, coaching, um, we started uh, a company. We it was called Kinder Reese Real Estate Coaching. Uh, we actually started selling websites and. And uh, we were helping people by coaching uh, uh, folks. Many of you may are, may have had those websites and been a part of that uh, for a long, long time. Um, it had been around. That was how we got into this business. And we started coaching uh, people to success. And we, we coached many people to over a million in income. That was, that was kind of our specialty, was helping real estate agents build this big, huge million dollar business. And the thing that we learned was it was really hard to implement all the things you had to implement and learn all the things you needed to learn to be successful. So as many people we helped, there was just as many people that didn't quite make it in terms of being as successful as they could have been. So we asked how, there's got to be a better way, there's got to be a better way, there's got to be a better way. So as we've evolved and, and we evolved to NAEA, the reason we became an association was because, like Michael mentioned, is the platform that NAEA gives us the ability to create tools, training, um, uh, presentations and scale them and create it for you. So we, once we identified the best practice, the best marketing pieces, the best training, the presentations, the best processes, systems, technologies, the things that work absolutely at maximum, then we can leverage that um, a lot quicker and easier for you um, once you become an expert advisor. And I want to talk a little bit about what it what it means to become an expert advisor and really the path that you've now uh, had the ability to, to move through and um, the opportunity that really is in front of you that really hasn't existed in real estate since Keller Williams started. It would be what, how I would explain it. You might want to touch on a little bit about the opportunity, the training or the designations. I don't know how you feel about that. Yeah, well, one of the things that's really important is we have upskilled and given all of our members the ability to not only um, win the consumer, but making their value, vo their value visible to the consumer so that consumer understands exactly why they're doing business with them versus a traditional agent. And that's important to you because if people do business with you because you're a real estate agent, then unfortunately everybody, and in most markets, almost everybody has a relative or somebody that they can throw a rock at that's a real estate agent. Right. And so in Texas everybody every every third person I think has a real estate license. Yeah, so so not only is it about doing business with you, but it's your ability to articulate that. It's really the the handles to the luggage that we want to be able to provide you. And so one of the things that we've been able to do is really articulate our value, make that value visible to where I've I've had the experience where somebody was choosing me over their sister. Right. But we want people to be trained in order to be able to articulate that. So the question is, is why would somebody do business with you? And it can't be just because you're a real estate agent or you sold so many homes, because there will always be but somebody that mm -hmm. maybe sells more homes than you. So everything has been designed really to help an agent not only go into the marketplace and position themselves and have a differentiated value proposition, but it's been aligned all the way back to the buying and the selling of real estate and how that are, is actually trans, um, translated to the homeowner or the consumer. Yeah, and that's it, it really is critical. And I'll ask you this question and I want you to answer it truthfully because if, if you can answer this question, then you maybe you've solved this problem already. But I, I would suspect, like most of us, um, this was a, something that was nagging in our business that was foundational that was missing. And I, I didn't know this until I tried to step out of my business. Um, and I learned very quickly that, that I didn't have a scalable process for articulating value to a buyer or seller. So for instance, if, if a home seller s it said, hey, I really like everything you had to say. You seem to be a great agent. I know you sell a lot of real estate in my area, but um, then, you know, this, this other agent offered to do it 
at a much lower commission, they're going to co-broke the same amount that you were going to co-broke. And um, to be honest with you, they sell just as many homes in this area as you do. And I think I'm going to go do business with them as opposed to you. How are you going to overcome that objection? And if, if you basically just pack your bags up and leave uh, that appointment, knowing that you didn't have an answer for that, then, and you knew that this agent wasn't a quality agent, they were an AFA that was just buying the listing on price or was just dropping their commission to try to win the listing, and you knew it wasn't what's best for the client. The thing that just really gets my gut is when I would, that would happen. And, you know, things happen, people are in, um, you know, transition. We had a military family who lost their home after I lost the listing and I walked out knowing that I'd lost that listing and their house went into foreclosure and we actually, they came to us to move their, their family out of the home and explain to their, you know, four-year-old why they were leaving. And, you know, like that really got me, you know, why, why does that have to happen when just some dumb agent that doesn't have any real business articulating you know, just dropping their commission didn't provide the value that they needed, that, that, that homeowner needed to be told exactly what to do in order to accomplish the goal. They got told a, a story and that's what we, those are the AFAs that our goal is to put the hell out of business. I'll be real honest with you. I have no love lost for wanting to put those agents out of business. And as you go through this, the tools and the training that we provide, you're going to see more and more about how positioning and distancing ourselves and creating a defining gap between an expert advisor and an average regular real estate agent, an average frustrated agent is, is the goal. And when you can do that, you no longer, the benefits are unbelievable. You no longer have to sell anyone. You, you now are an advisor. You're being positioned as an advisor. When you show up, you're trusted like a doctor it would be trusted and people listen to you and they take your advice and they want to hear your advice. So we've really dialed in the right processes, the right systems, the right tools. And, and being a member gives you the ability to invest in the training and become certified as an expert advisor. Become certified as a certified home selling advisor. You can invest and become certified as a certified home buying advisor and learn that training and go through those training modules that we've created that are the best in class for positioning yourself as a true trusted expert in your marketplace. And we've trained thousands of agents that are doing a ton of business across the country. So we know this works, it's been proven to work. We're very passionate about what we do and we want you to be involved if everything you hear us say and as you go through uh, the, the training and the curriculum that we, that we have for you, as you go through that and you, and you really are bought into who we are and why we exist and it means something to you and it matters to you, um, then we want you to be a part of it. We'll, we'll know the right people. We'll know if you're the right person based on your dedication to really becoming an expert advisor and really becoming trained at the level that you need to be able to be able to deliver on our brand promise to the consumer. Because at the end of the day, everything that we're doing is about delivering value to the consumer. So we're, we're, we're happy, hopefully, that you're um, uh, getting involved and in moving down that track or that you're at least interested enough to do so. We are going to deliver as much value as we can. And um, we look forward to working with you on a much closer level and hopefully helping you build an asset and a, a business that's sellable. Um, so you have an exit strategy so you don't spend your whole life you know, building a real estate business that you can't do anything with. Um, and we're going to uh, uh, help you in every possible way we can to really change, uh, change the real estate industry and change how real estate is practiced and uh, raise the standard.